In the village, Old George owned a gray horse, Big Elsa, a plowing mare. Old George always offered Big Elsa to help other villagers to plow their farms. One could say that there was no patch of land in the entire village left untouched by the hooves of Big Elsa. Big Elsa, known for its good temperament, obediently worked in other people's fields at Old George's command. Even small children could command its actions, and it worked diligently without ever slacking off. It didn't even need water breaks, just lowered its head and plowed the fields. However, despite its hard work, Big Elsa never gave birth to a foal. Old George, frustrated and disappointed, sometimes took out his anger on the mare, even whipping it impulsively. The horse, with its dark eyes, would look at its master in a submissive manner, taking a step back and ate its feet cautiously, as if afraid of provoking Old George further. Finally, after some years, Big Elsa became pregnant. Old George's joy knew no bounds as he meticulously cared for the expectant mother. The day arrived when the mare gave birth to a robust foal. Contrary to expectations, unlike its mother, the foal displayed a stubborn and unruly nature, constantly escaping from enclosures and trampling crops. Forgetting the mare's contributions, the villagers were now concerned about the damaged crops. Despite old George's efforts to discipline the foal, it remained defiant. Frustrated, he resorted to harsh methods. The foal's misbehavior led to conflicts, and old George's attempts to discipline it escalated, leaving both the foal and the mare distressed. In a tragic turn of events, old George asked some villagers to help to discipline the foal, it frightened, collided with a stone near the well and met a gruesome end. Witnessing this, Big Elsa, a mother, looked on with sorrow in her dark eyes. Old George, in a fit of anger, slaughtered the foal and divided its flesh in the courtyard just in front of Big Elsa, disregarding the pleas to take Big Elsa away from his wife. The village, already shaken by the incident, experienced further horror when the mare's mournful howls echoed through the night. The very next day, old George was found dead, his belly bloated and twisted. His death perplexed the villagers, as old George's wife slept soundly beside him, seemingly oblivious to his agony. Fear gripped the village as Big Elsa, locked in its stable, refused to eat or move. People avoided making eye contact with the horse during old George's funeral, as if fearing the mare's gaze could bring misfortune. Old George's daughter, expecting her fourth child, faced rejection to attend her father's funeral from her in-laws due to superstitions. In less than two months, tragedy struck again as the daughter died during childbirth. Old George's wife, grieving, secluded herself in her home. A few days later, Big Elsa howled again in the night. In the morning, villagers climbed over the low wall of the family, looked inside and found old George's wife hanging herself from the beam. By the well, the blood stains of the foal were still there, everyone in the old George's family died. Rumors spread throughout the village, claiming that Big Elsa had become possessed, seeking vengeance for its lost foal. Villagers who had participated in disciplining the foal or consumed its meat were believed to face imminent disaster. Despite old George having relatives, none dared to take possession of the family's assets, fearing the curse. Big Elsa, left tied in the stable, mysteriously disappeared soon after. After that from time to time, there will be a sound in the village, the muffled howls of Big Elsa, within a day, someone must have died in the village. The village was haunted by the mournful howls of the horse, and it became an eerie precursor to impending deaths. For decades, the village lived in perpetual fear, and the curse lingered until the ones who had participated in disciplining the foal or consumed its meat passed away. Only then did the village find peace, leaving behind a haunting tale of Big Elsa and its vengeful howls.